Andy Mogul. This week, we asked you guys to choose your two favorite Expendables short films to be featured on this show. And you responded overwhelmingly by telling me to get a haircut and by calling me Jake Drunk. Film Fights TV. We set the rules. You make the films. You decide the winner. Our first film is from Sometimes Funny. Cree Master calls the film a contemporary and captivating social commentary. And Achgung calls it a great and twisted concept of desperation. Those are some fancy words. Let's watch. It really, I think, has given a lot of meaning to us as individuals. I think it's pretty clear. I mean, you know, America is obviously the best country in the, on the planet. You know, a lot of that's due to the transition. When your number's called, you find out by swiping your card. Um, the card tells you to the report to the transition station within 72 hours after swiping, so you get a few days to settle your affairs, which I think is you know, an entirely reasonable amount of time. And then you're converted into the energy that continuing to power our, our culture, our society. I've kind of come to accept it, and frankly, I think it, you know, it would be an honorable way to end my life. Think about third world countries. They have overpopulation, fewer resources in every way, not just power. What do you say to people who think the system is broken or doesn't work? You don't think the system works for you? Then why don't you move to another country, become a citizen of another country? You know, we don't need you. I mean, um, you're living off the system, and that's just not fair. That's what I would say. I thought it was funny. I think it's a good satire. I did find it darkly comic. Is it supposed to be funny? I was sort of confused. I kind of wish it went a little bit more so I could have understood. It reminded me of Soylent Green, actually. Okay. I thought it was kind of deep. It definitely made me think. I thought it was definitely meant to be provocative and it reached that aim. I agree with, you know, if you don't like this country, you can move somewhere else. I'm not sure if it was making some, like, what statement it was making about energy or energy crisis exactly. I do think that people in these countries should have a larger share of accountability because the United States is accountable for most of the energy, like fuel, fossil fuel energy consumption in the world. I would watch it if it was developed further. I guess it comes down to the question, what's more important, the, the people or the idea of energy? Well, obviously the guy had a rose and the girl didn't want him anymore, so it was a little upsetting. Alexander C. Frost calls our second film, quote, a sweet and touching puppet love story. And Bobo Fett exclaims, it has my vote, five stars, thumbs, or whatever. It's from the UK film group Evil Genius. I thought it was cute and funny. I don't like puppets, <laughs> so it's a little creepy. It's like a gimmick, I don't know. I don't think the puppets' emotions, I couldn't relate to them, you know, like, at all. Okay. Puppets, it's getting a little old, like it's been used. I like the music. It was a pretty um, pedestrian, hackneyed narrative. He, got a, he had a broken heart and then he had something there. How about the ending? He was surprised. <laughs> By what? See, that's, that I think is the question. A new girl, I guess, I don't know. I'm not really sure, but if I could think of anything off the top of my head, you know, life moves on. I want you to pick your favorite out of those two. First one. The people is fuel. Mm -hmm. okay. The second one, it was just bizarre. The first one, the, about the fuel. The puppets. The puppets. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm giving it up to the puppets. Yeah, people as fuel. People as fuel, I'll second that. Hi, I'm Aaron Yanda. I'm co-creator of Chad Vader, as well as a lot of other internet series. The Expendables. It was clever, um, and I liked the use of the subway. I think I had to watch it a couple times before I was like, wait, is this about overpopulation? I think it's about overpopulation. Wait, is it about overpopulation? I don't know. If I was to critique it, I would say it's, it's a mockumentary. Mockumentaries are just... There's just too many. They're kind of easy. Puppet video was very fun. Um, it was uh, creative. It had nice music. Um, and I especially liked the ambiguous end. I immediately assumed that uh, he just saw somebody get hit by a bus and he was cheered up. Uh, I think puppets are a little bit... Uh, I guess they're a little played out. Overall, uh, I liked the puppet one better. Um, I just, it just, it was a, it was a little bit more fun. Thank you guys for helping us pick this week's films, and also for leaving such great feedback down in the old comments section. The next fight is reboot, remake or reboot any film you want. Like, how about rebooting the Meatballs franchise or a badly needed Meatballs Three Summer Jobs remake? The choice is yours, but your entries have to be in by August 15th, which gives you all weekend to make a great film. Good night and good luck. Hey everyone, this is Ethan Nelson from youtube.com slash redhairrejects. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who voted for me because I got in first place in the Muted Film Fights competition. First off, I want to thank my YouTube viewers for uh, voting for me, especially Super Blue and everyone on the Film Fights website. Hope to see you guys again. I'm on a boat and I'm going... Go Tigers!